everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is April and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay primarily, but Depop and Mercari also, and oh Lord, there's a bee in here. We'll see how we do. So my name is April, like I said, thanks so much for visiting my channel. I am a full-time ELA teacher. We have five kids, two of which are in college now, although they're just uh, 30 minutes down the road. So I still you know, see them quite often and I'm out there quite often. Today, woo! Today I have a thrift haul for you. I'm off of work because I had an appointment, a, a rheumatology appointment with my doctor in a neighboring town about 30 minutes away. And I decided to stop at a church thrift store that I'd never been to before. And then I stopped at one that I have been to like maybe two, three times. I ended up picking up 30 items I was really looking for. Winter, fall, cashmere, wool, um, fleece. It is October. And so going into those winter uh, months, I really wanted to, to be prepared for those. I did find a couple other things that I am going to save the best for last. I got 26 items for $31, so a little over a dollar each. And I found something that I'd never heard of before, um, a brand that I haven't heard of in comps look like they'll be about 150-ish dollars. And that's sale price and the sell-through rate is extraordinary on this brand, period. So stay tuned for the end for that. Coming into this, I do want you to know I use OneShop to cross post to those four platforms. It's not really cross posting. I love OneShop because it lists them all at the same time on those four platforms, okay? So you've got one listing. I do use at times, about half the time, a, a listed assistant that is provided through OneShop. And I do have my daughter helping me about four hours a week and I pay her $15 an hour. And in New York State where I am, um, very rural area, New York State, you are allowed to have your family work for you and you don't have to pay like all that extra stuff. It doesn't have to be formal. I am in the process of opening an LLC because I did make a lot of money last year. Um, I guess I'm tooting my own horn, but last month was my second best month. I hit just about at $11,000 and my average cost of goods right now, um, overall I keep a running tally is $3 and about 50 cents. Today's average cost of goods, however, it will be folded into everything else, is about $1.20. So let's just go right ahead and jump right in. And I'll do my best to tell you um, any, any reason why I decided to pick this up, the, the items up. So, okay. Good morning. It is 6.54 and I'm about ready to head to work, but I wanted to jump on here and just let you know that everything that you are seeing in today's thrift haul has been listed and I will put up on the side either whether it's sold or how much it's listed for. So thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this thrift These haul. These are girls' large vintage L.L. Bean overall midi denim dress. And this style right now is very popular. I will probably list this, I don't know, probably $25, $25, okay, $25, excuse me, I just had lunch, I had some cauliflower, mashed cauliflower, I gave up gluten um, in June, I was really sick at the end of June, beginning of July with my autoimmune disease, and I just have given up gluten, so I just had mashed cauliflower for lunch, so sorry. Here's a brand that I will show you, the, the um, label, you're hearing my dogs, by the way, Winter Silks, this is I think the third or fourth piece I've sold. They've all sold, they've got a pretty good sell-through rate. It's a large, it's just a cable knit. Um, it's only got 10% silk, but it's silk and cotton. And this sells well in, in the larger sizes. I think I've only ever gotten larger sizes. Let me show you my pups. Come here pups, come here Augie. So we have two pups. I am an English teacher, so one is named August after Augie from the book Wonder, the children's book. I teach 10th grade this year but I did teach eighth grade for 21 years. So this is Augie, he's my lover, okay? And my other one is Scout, and Scout is um, from To Kill a Mockingbird. So there you go. Two dogs to replace my two ch children that have gone off. <laughs> okay, moving along, they may bark. Here is a J. Crew 100% cashmere sweater. And picking up cashmere right now is, you know, something you should do. It's medium. It's in excellent condition. It's got these little like micro colors in there. I can't remember what that's called when it's in there, but I'll have to look that up when it gets listed or, or I'll have my listening assistant do this one. They're pretty good about that. It's almost like a confetti. Um, 
I'm not 100% sure. This is a little oversized. I, I would think it would fit a large. I'm thinking that would probably get listed for 50. Sorry, I'm cutting my head off if I had to guess. So this is another 100% cashmere. This brand isn't as great. I wouldn't have picked this up if it weren't 100% cashmere. Wait, I'm lying. It's not cashmere. My bad. It's Angora in lamb's wool. That's why I picked it up. But it's tweeds. Um, again, I did look up these comps. I probably will only list this for 25 or 30, but it is an excellent condition and it's so soft, so soft. Very good color too, that deep teal color. This open front cardigan is Jade Jill and it looks almost like it would be a linen, but this knit is not linen. It, uh, I'll show you the label here. For those of you that don't know Jade Jill, it is a great bread and butter brand. I'll probably end up listening to this. This is a large for around 30 or 35. And I remember picking this up also because of the material. So this is wool, 39% wool, and then it's got acrylic and nylon. So 30, maybe 35. Just a nice, it's more of a spring cardigan, but a cardigan nonetheless. Another great brand, Toad & Co. This is a small, so not the best um, size, Organic cotton tensile and spandex, so it's got some stretch. And this is just kind of like a, I wanna say casual dress you could wear to run errands, but you could also wear this to work. It's got a little pattern, it's a midi dress. It's red and almost like a burgundy maybe. I'm not sure what that will get listed for. Some Toad & Co does great. I did not look on, on comps, up comps for that. Some Toad & Co does great, some Toad & Co just doesn't. Um, if you have heard of Horny Toad, that was the previous name um, of that company. So I'll, I'll, if I had to guess, I would say that would probably be listed for 35 or 40 and hope for maybe 25 or 30. Oh, I just sold something. Um, I think last month was my best month because I sold so many costumes. I One thing I learned last year was that people go crazy for their costumes. So if you have an opportunity to pick up any Halloween costumes, pick them up. I just sent offers this morning. I do still have like, I don't know, a hundred, maybe, maybe not a hundred, but quite a few costumes left. So I sent deeply discounted offers um, just to start clearing those out because I don't want to have them much longer. It's October 12th today. Okay, another reputable brand, Lauren, Ralph Lauren, size four, but it's the style. So this is like a faux wrap dress. This is a great career style. Probably list that for 38 or 40. I just looked the this uh, brand up and I wasn't particularly impressed with the comps, but let me sh talk to you about why I chose it. The brand is called World Market and this is a one size. It's 100% rayon made in India, but look at the embroidery. So gorgeous. And it almost reminds me of a bathing suit cover-up. It's a maxi. Look at the slits on the sides. But it was just so beautiful. And those colors, you could even wear these into fall. Look at that deep teal color combined with that. Almost like an army green. So, yeah, I liked it. I'm probably only going to list that for 30 though. And for one size, I will probably list this as a large. And then in the listing, I will just say that... Um, it's, it's one size and provide measurements. I provide measurements on everything. This is a Bolo brand and it brings some of the comps, guys. Hey, some of the comps um, for this brand are super high solds and some of them are super low. I don't understand it, but this is 100% linen and the brand is Farley Farley. I haven't had a lot of time to research it, but it's in excellent condition. It's a little wrinkly, but to be expected. It's almost like art to wear, which we'll put in the keywords or in the title. Um, linens, it's not really time for linen right now, but um, it, it was too good not to pick it up for a dollar and 20 cents. These are Talbot's Flawless Five Pocket, and I picked them up because they are a corduroy, and they are size eight, and they are a flare. So it's the eight, size eight petite flare, black corduroy going into fall. That will be fabulous. 
Okay, another really fabulous brand, if you don't know this brand. So I'll probably list those pants for around 30 or 35. Probably 35. Ibex, okay, take a look at that little, uh, I don't know, what does that look like? What is that? I can't remember. <sighs> Some days. This is 93% merino wool and 7% polyester, and it is a vest. So Ibex is a very good brand, a, a great winter brand. If you're thinking like smart wool, I think Ibex, kind of like along the same lines. This is a chunky, boxy, knit, Banana Republic medium. It's got that black label, so that's good. I don't usually pick up Banana Republic, but I love that color. And the materials, it is uh, a wool blend. So I just love this chunky knit. If that were a large, I would keep it. It looks like it would be a little small for me. A lightweight turtleneck and this heathered color. It's heathered maroon. And this is Prana. Um, that last uh, chunky cable knit, or not cable knit, that chunky um, sweater, I will probably list for 35 or 40. This is Prana, and it is a large, what is the material? I didn't check the material, actually. Elastane and modal. So it does have some stretch. The back has like the seam down the middle, so that exposed seam. And along the back. I don't really know how much that will list for, but I'm guessing probably only 25. Talbots, this, the reason I picked this up, it is a large, it's a large petite, but it is Pima cotton, which I do find sells pretty well. So there you go. Probably list that for maybe, maybe 28, 28 to 35. Here's another cashmere sweater. This is an XL. The brand is two ply. Wrong. The brand is packed. It does pack. have two, and I'm going to show you, pinholes in the back. And I'll just disclose that. And because of those pinholes, I'm probably only going to be able to get 25 for it. So I'll probably list it for 30. This next item, I, I don't know why I kept it, but I did. I picked it up looking at it. It's just American Eagle Men's Small. I really liked the graphic, and it's a Henley. So this is not going to bring very much, maybe 20 bucks. Oh well. These two next items, these next two items, I'm going to list together. They are Women's Brook Brothers, size four. These are kind of corporate office shirts. One is a non iron, 100% cotton, and the other is 100% Supima cotton. They're both size four. And um, I will, this is the 346 Brook Brothers with the, um, the little image on, on that. So I will list these two together. And they are in superb condition. I'll probably list those for like maybe together, maybe 45, 40, 40 probably, if I had to guess. This next item I just thought had like a little bit of a southwestern feel to it. It's only, only Vans. Is it Vans? Yeah, I couldn't remember. Vans, but I like the, the pattern, the print, I should say, for the fall. It is a men's size large, probably only less that for 25. It's got the Vans logo on the back. Again, that Southwestern colors. If you've ever been to the Southwest, you know, those are pretty, pretty typical colors. All right, fresh produce, which hasn't been doing so great for me, but this was long, is long sleeve. Unfortunately, I know there's a size. I feel like it was a small, hold on. There's the uh, brand label. So fresh produce, there's that B. Woo! Can't do well in the larger sizes. This is 100% cotton. There's not a size on it. I'm gonna go with this probably being a small or a medium. I'll probably only list this for 20, 25, probably 25. All right, this next brand right now is having a moment. This is Abercrombie. This is a men's muscle shirt. It's cut distressing. I don't know if that's original or not along the neckline. I'm not familiar enough with Abercrombie, but it is a men's large, and it is a Henley style, um, a crew Henley, kind of like a waffle shirt with a raw hem, you can see that. So I do think that will do pretty well. I'll probably list that for 30. I haven't looked up a lot of comps, so I'm just going with what I think things will list for, so please keep that in mind. 
You're always welcome to visit my closet. It's at teaching for tips because that's basically what my job is. I get tips teaching, um, teaching for tips and the word for is spelled out F O R teaching for tips. All right. This next item is Eileen Fisher. It's a medium, nothing super special about it. It is oversized. It's just a zip up. Um, I don't know what you want to call it. A zip up jacket, cardigan jacket. I think hundred percent cotton, just Eileen Fisher. Probably one of the set for 25, 28, nothing great. We've got a Madewell extra small, very oversized sweater, V-neck, and it is in a dark blue, a navy blue. And this had a good blend. It's got the split side, merino wool, alpaca, and polyamide blend. This would fit me, and I'm more of a medium, so it's very oversized. Probably list that for 35. This next item is for children also. This is a great brand to pick up in the winter. This is a children's large. It is um, merino wool, Kerrigan. I list that for 25, 30 ish. Another children's item. I couldn't resist this like Sherpa style <clears throat> quarter zip, or is it a full zip? It's a quarter zip jacket by LL Bean. And it is a small, what is mode acrylic? It's just got a great pattern, okay? And it does have the LL Bean logo on the back. It does have a little crack in it. But I just thought it was great. Uh, I, I'm not gonna list that for much, $20 maybe. Okay, this is a scarf. I saw this on the way out. It's 100% silk. And this is going to make someone who loves cats so happy. I love dogs, so I have like dog shoes, dog things. Um, it doesn't have a brand name, I don't think. Hold on, let me look again. I'm pretty sure it does not. Sorry, my head is getting cut off in this camera. I'm not really good about videoing. Okay, there it is. Nope, it just says all silk. All silk. Made in the USA. So, I wish it would have had a... But it will definitely make somebody happy. Probably less up for 35-ish. This so next brand, I, I don't think I've ever picked it up, but it is a brand that's very typical of the Northeast. Okay, it's a large, it's Eastern Mountain Sports, and this is 100% wool. It is a heavy knit sweater. This is perfect if you are skiing. I mean, it is just a beautiful navy sweater. I'm guessing that this is a woman's large. Okay, nice length, perfect for layering. This is Jack by BB Dakota. Um, I love the colors of this as well. It really reminded me of the Southwest. It's got a little bit of a, um, what is that, a waterfall? I can't remember that open front drape, kind of open front drapey front. Okay. This next brand I don't really pick up as much anymore. It's Woolrich. It is a large, is it a large? Yeah, it's a woman's large. But the reason I picked it up is because it's a barn coat. And these tend to sell very well. This is fleece lined. Um, you can see that it's fleece lined. Um, and it is, the exterior is 100% cotton, the body 100% poly, and the collar is leather. So, so these barn coats, uh, this will probably, well, that last thing I didn't tell you, those other two things, I apologize. So that um, EMS chunky cable net, I will need to comp. I have no idea. That will fit me if I if I need to keep it because comps looks terrible. I look terrible, I will. But I'm guessing probably 38 I would be a listing price, 40 45 The Jack, um, kind of like blazer, open blazer, I'm guessing is probably going to be about 45 55 and then this barn coat, I would say probably 55. It will be the listing price. Okay? Sorry about that. This is a little faded, but not bad. Almost done, everyone. This is a navy blue Talbots. Women's blazer. 
and I picked it up because it's a fabric knit in Italy and it is a 16. It's a 16 petite, but it's a 16. And what was the actual fabric? I do not remember. Rayon, nylon, spandex, and then polyester. Okay, so that's a beautiful blazer, probably with a set for 40 or 45. And then not the last thing, so last thing I'm saving the best for last, remember. But I also got this blanket. Um, this is gorgeous. Not listed yet, unfortunately. I know that there's a word for those flowers. I do not know what they are. Hopefully these, most of these will be listed by the time this video goes live. Um, almost like a, it's almost three-dimensional. There's some dye transfer in the flowers. This is just a gorgeous blanket. So perfect for the holidays with the red, the white, and the green. So yeah, I will list these. Blankets are great, guys. They're heavy to ship but they are great sometimes when you can get these vintage hand knit blankets like this. Um, I I'm not sure what this will list for. If I had to guess, I would say 75, but we will see. All right, and last but not least, I have buried it myself someplace. Okay, here it is. So the brand that I found is a Bolo. Be on the lookout is, I think it's called Doen. So this dress is called the Atasha dress, I think is what I looked up. Okay, it does have a slip. I'll show that to you in a minute. This is a small, it's 100% cotton, and it is a maxi dress. This had a this small right hole in the underarm right that I disclosed in the listing, the and it still sold knows, within a day. The person donated all of them. So there's that, and then it's got the black slip that goes underneath it. Boy, that feels like silk. Nope, this goes. And I'll show you that. Okay. Okay, everyone. So that is that. I, I will list this for around 100. Well, the sold comps are around 150, I think, was about the average. Some were 145, some were a little less, some were a little more. I think I'll probably list it for 150. So just that dress itself will, will pay for this whole thrift haul. Actually, that barn coat will pay for this whole thrift haul. So that's it, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoy seeing the things that are selling for me. I live in a rural area in Northern New York. We get a lot of like outdoorsy brands like Carhartt, L.L. Bean, um, Woolrich, which you've seen. A lot of like outdoor stuff. Although I did find Johnny Was for the first time. Um, not a great piece of Johnny Was, but Johnny Was nonetheless. So if you do start knowing the names and you start like just, you know, just try to that word is manifest that word, you know. and since i've been manifesting i found two johnny was put it pieces. in your mind when you go thrifting then maybe maybe you will get that there's a word for it can't think of what it is you know just an ela teacher not able to find the word thanks so much for joining me i hope that if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy the content that you would like the channel and if you've already liked the channel it, um, or subscribe, you know what I'm talking about. If you've already subscribed, if you just like the video, feel free to leave a comment. I would certainly appreciate it. I watch all my favorite YouTubers every single day. I listen to them when I'm walking the dog. It's my favorite form of research. I love watching the What Sold videos. One of my favorite YouTubers is Amanda Pruitt. So if you're not following Amanda, please go follow her. She's the best. All right. I'll talk to you all later. Or, you know, I'll talk to you. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.